Unfortunately, Mom, it's a known carries of Yersinia pestis. So is this girl I met in Puerto Rico. <laughs> the bacterium that culled Europe is the Black Death in the Middle Ages. Why would you even attempt to eat this fucker? If you want the bubonic plague, just hang out in Arizona on the border of Texas. We're importing this shit like sugar and chocolate. <laughs> Mongolian couple. I always, Mongolian couple, it just sounds like an insult. <laughs> I, I know the Mongolian, I, I know what they are. I went to Kazakhstan and shit, and they kind of, they're scary looking. I had a, I had a midnight, do uh, you guys ever see the movie uh, Midnight Express? Do you ever see that one about an American who got caught with hash over there, and they threw him in a fucking Turkish prison for like life? Like, it, it is this, it, uh, Hayes, the guy, Steve Hayes, I think his name was, an American. And uh, he's got the drugs, and he's walking, like, towards the plane or whatever. And he, you can hear his heart beating because there's, like, a guy waiting there to frisk people. I had that moment when, when, I, when I went overseas uh, to perform with the USO in Afghanistan. We were leaving Kyrgyzstan. We're leaving there, and um, Artie Lang went through. All the guys, was, they went through with their papers. The guy stops me, and they're like Mongolians. And the guys, you know, forgive the guys like, did you, you went anywhere else? And nobody told me I wasn't supposed to say, yeah, we went to Afghanistan and fucking did you? <laughs> yeah, tell them you were there for the troops, Nick. <laughs> I didn't say that, but it got all quiet. Then he goes, I'll be right back. He goes in the back. He's gone for 10 minutes. Now I'm sweating like haze with a pound of black hash in my back pocket. And then he comes out. A guy comes out with like medals on his chest. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to be raped for the next 20 years in, in Kyrgyzstan. It was my moment, and um, we had a, a Vietnam vet, uh, this older black guy, great guy, who was babysitting us the whole time. So he starts talking to the guy, and they start yelling at each other. <laughs> I'm almost crying at this point. I'm fucked. Uh, but finally, you know what happened? They shook us down. They said he has to give us like 40 bucks in cash, <laughs> and I give it to the guy, starts laughing, and walks back in the office. That was my Midnight Express moment. If you haven't seen that movie, dudes, it is so intense, it'll scare the hell out of you. But I don't know how I got away from that. Mongolian couple <laughs> <laughs> dies of embarrassment. embarrassment. No, uh, dies of bubonic plague after eating raw. How do you say that? Mama? Mama? Anybody? What am I? Free illiterates? I'm the idiot here. Help me out. D, come on. You look like you got a C plus and no something. Idea. I'm pretty sure it's Marmot. Marmot. Thank you, Jason. Fucking He's guy writes girl. like Faulkner and is afraid to fucking speak up. The ethnically uh, Kazakh couple died on May 1st after ingesting raw Marmot kidney, which is delicious. You put that, it's like a bruschetta. Mm. <laughs> By the way, I had, uh, I picked up food in an Italian restaurant. I'm not going to say the name of it. And uh, it was delicious going down, but I was on a playing Game of Thrones for the next three hours last night. Running upstairs, downstairs. Uh, Mama Kidney, traditionally believed to have health benefits. Oh, yeah. we Dr. N, I'm not even going to try to say his name. Let's call him N.T. <laughs> Director of Mongolia's National Center for Zoonic Dermatology and Medicine. Enough of the long titles. I'm trying to do a fucking story. <laughs> He's a doctor in a third world shithole. He doesn't have the credentials to drive a cab in New York, okay? He's got a bone through his nose, and he's fucking rubbing chicken blood on his tits. That's the doctor said that the husband hunted and harvested the large rodent for his and his wife's use. <laughs> Honey, it's our 25th. What do you want to do? You want to go out? Or should I go out and fucking uh, pick off a marmot and find a debit on the highway? Let's make this special. You get the candles. I'll get the baby wipes. Unfortunately, marmots are known carriers of Yersinia pestis. So is this girl I met in Puerto Rico. The bacterium that culled Europe is the Black Death in the Middle Ages. Why would you even attempt to eat this fucker? If you want the bubonic plague, just hang out in Arizona on the border of Texas. We're importing this shit like sugar and chocolate. Mark these down. These are good funny clips for the... <laughs> once, concentra uh, once contracted by humans, it is extremely contagious and, and can be spread by... Uh, by coughing, apparently. Well, no shit. This was me last night, by the way. Mm, I love those breadsticks. Garlic knots dipped in whatever. After their deaths, this is... Can you imagine? They ate some raw kidneys from this rat. Look at that fuck. It looks like Michael Cohen. It's 
him testifying. After the deaths, a six-day quarantine locked down the area, preventing nine tourists from Germany, Russia, and Switzerland from leaving. They, as well as 24-year-old American Peace Corps volunteer Sebastian Pike, were invited to the governor's office on Friday to have the situation explained. According to the U.S. National Center for Zoonic Disease, one person in Mongolia dies from the plague each year, mostly from observing this cultural tradition. I don't know. You want to break that tradition? Jesus. Hey, uh, where's, you're at the cookout. Where's Billy? Well, he had Marmot kidneys a couple of nights ago. Bye-bye. Didn't his parents die that way too? Yeah, the year before. What the fuck? Hey guys, when you get done cleaning the semen off your mouse pad, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page and click on the little notification bell. That'll tell you when we go live and when we put clips up and stuff like that. Also, go to nickdip.com and uh, sign up at Patreon. That way you'll get three more shows a week. You can't get enough Nick DiPaolo, am I right? I thank you for your support, okay? See you later, Jackoffs.